Hello, welcome back to another fabulous intro. I'm Jacob from Jacob's here, and today we are playing Birth to Death. Birth to Death is where we follow a single sim from birth to death. Today we are following, obviously we are following Mindy like normal. This is Mindy. She is gorgeous. She is the main sim. We're doing, we're uploading every day up until the release of Growing Together, where she'll continue on her story and growing together. It just won't be as a constant as an upload is the thing we'll talk about when we get closer to that release date. With that being said, I do have some stuff as summer is coming to a close and college is on the way she has some things to talk about some conversations to behold she needs to talk to her moms about their affair that they are having on the two people she wants to talk to her grandparents to let them know that she is that decided she is going to college and things for the grandparents have some stuff to talk to her about and then that i think that's really just about it Oh, plus, Evie will be dropping by later on today to have a special conversation with her as well. So there'll be three conversations being had. I don't understand why. So essentially what's going on here is that her grandparents are like, Hey, we know that you got accepted into college. And we know that money is quite tight for you guys because your mom is doing really well in her career but she hates her career so she's kind of half-assing and she's like my mom's half-assing her career and she they're like oh yeah that's the whole reason why you guys are very much here and you're just like oh oh okay which has been going on for a while she is in a dead-end job she believes even though she is the top of her career i don't know that's a london problem that's not an us problem and so she's like I know you're gonna need help with money and i know scholarships didn't go through because you live in a wealthy household with us and we decided to be your benefactors towards scholarships and everything else and they decided to pick other people and she's like yes this is something that did this is something oh my god that's fucking scary this is something that did happen so they're like we have a proposal to you and hopefully you do take it upon yourselves we are willing to pay for every semester of college, every year of college, until you graduate, as long as you maintain an A, just an A, not an A plus or anything, but an A in school. You get an A minus, you get a B plus, we'll, we'll pull funding, and as soon as you get your grades back up, we'll come back in, we'll put funding back in. But there might be a semester or two in there where you're going to have to defend for yourselves. If you Is that something that you're interested in, this deal? And she's like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested in this deal for sure. No problems whatsoever. And they're like, that's cool. I'm very happy about about this. Um, so you have to decide which college you're going to. And she's like, I'm being persuaded by a bunch of people to go to Foxbury. I feel like it will probably be end up going to Foxbury. But I'm not really sure yet. My friend hasn't gone back to me yet. And that also could be a term of that. And like... Well, your friend should not be a determining factor on the college you go to. And she's like, I just want to make sure I know somebody there. And they're like, I get that. But also, like, Foxbury is a very good school. And she's like, man, Grandma, Grandpa, do you guys do realize your guys' degrees were not, like, a distinguished degree at Foxbury? Like, you didn't go there with honors or anything like that. Do you guys realize that? And they're like, it's not about what you went there with. It's about what you graduated with. And we graduated with honors of distinguished you know, in our degrees to be top performing. So you can go to whatever school you want as long as you graduate well. And she's like, I'll keep that in mind. So essentially, like we talked about, grandparents decide to pay fully for college as long as she stays. There's no other stipulations. They don't she's going to come home every weekend or anything like that. It's just simply, all right, I went on conversation number two, which is going to be a lot more brutal. So the way she decided to go about to do this is it's, it's very problematic. <laughs> She's giving them as gifts. Yeah, so she's going to give them both. She invited them both over. Now, interestingly enough, it doesn't actually seem like her moms have really been hanging out that much. At least not in what it seems like, I should say. And she's going to come over here and she's going to be like, Okay, a few things to get straight right away is that I do have other copies of this picture. I am not here to blackmail my parents. And so she's like, I need you guys both to understand that we know for a fact, I know for a fact, I caught you guys red-handed on my prom night cheating. You guys are both having an affair with one another and you guys have been having an affair. And London's like, this is ridiculous. I don't understand why you would come in and accuse me of something so horrendous. And she's like, look at that picture. And she's like, yes, okay, we were at a motel together. And yes, we've been at a motel together several times. And she's like, it's just not fair. I've been asking nonstop to see, to see her, to see Jennifer. 
you know, see my mom, and you just denied me, denied me, denied me, because why? Because you're embarrassed the fact that you still are in love with her? And she's like, you have no right to do this. You just got married. You just had a child. And Jennifer's like, I really don't care. You know, Dina has never been the one that I have truly loved. Your mother has always been, I am your mother. I have been through so much that you don't understand. I have gone through so much that you don't understand. And I love your mom. And Jennifer's like, I'm very sorry that I've not been a part of your life. I'm very sorry that I had a kid and you weren't happy about it. I'm very sorry I got married to a girl that you do not like because you think she ruined your mom and I's marriage, which is, I guess, technically true. And London's like, yeah, it is true. And she's like, I'm sorry that this had to go this way. And she's like, the moral of the story, okay? I know what's been going on. I understand all the lying and the backstabbing and the cheating. Okay, I get it. I understand what's going on. Do I care for your reasonings and excuses? No. But I understand. And I decided from this moment on, until I'm ready, I'm done with both of you. Both your relationships, both being in this house, doing everything your way. And she looked at her mom. She looked at London. She was like, quit your job. Find something else you love. She is, however, going to come out here. Grandparents did know what was going on. They didn't know the context, I should say. But they did know. All right. I'll see you guys very soon with the last conversation. Curious to see what that will be about. Let me know if you guys like the resolution. She decides she just wants a cold break. I mean, that was the moral of that story. They didn't really seem like they cared very much. And she was just ready. She is ready to have a cold break. She has been hurt by them a lot. She hopes her grandparents. She'll come see her grandparents. And she really hopes her mother will move out. And we'll see what happens between them. Maybe they'll get back together. Let me know where you guys feel about Jennifer and in London now that you know that there was like some type type of cheating scandal and stuff do you think they deserve to be back together do you think they deserve no one I'd love to know in the comments down below of how you feel but once again we have one more and then we'll be off to call it okay. and the last one would be Mrs. Evie Mrs. Evie has come over I don't know why I'm calling her Mrs. Evie Evie has come over to have a conversation with London. She has decided a long time ago, if you guys remember in high school when when Mindy was trying to figure out what she was going to do with the rest of her life, she had decided to ask a few friends if they would like to move in with her in college. Evie had told her no. Evie was planning on going off directly into acting. Well, her parents told her she wasn't allowed because she still lived underneath the roof and stuff. She has to basically agree they are all above 18 and she could make her own rules and run away but they said that they would pay for her to be able to go to Delta Valley live in a live in an acting um apartment with a bunch of other actors and stuff to do what she wants to do but she has to at least she has to at least do one semester of college she gives her one semester all good they'll help her if she loves it she'll continue on but there has to be a test college and so she's like basically like explaining all this information and stuff to her and being like, I'm very sorry. And she's like, but, but the good, the good news here is that I get to move in and we get to go off to college together. And she's like, that is great news. That is, that's amazing news. I'm so happy. And she's like, I'm going to go for drama. Do you, you're going to go for it yet? And she's like, I don't. I have a lot of different ideas on my mind. So I'm sure we'll find out very soon. And guys. Last episode was way too long. This episode is probably way too short. But that technically is the end of this episode. I know this episode, unlike last last week's episode, we were all over the place. This week's episode, or last week, this the last episode of this episode is more story driven. I wanted to close up some chapters. So we closed up the grandparents chapter by them being like, we'll help you with school if you decide to go to school, which she is. And then we closed up her, her parents because... She basically, we're not ending that storyline. That storyline's still going to be open. And I'm sure that storyline's still going to be growing into growing together. At least for the time being, I'm going to say for the next little while. We're just not going to talk about them. They're just going to be out of the way. And I'm curious to see if anything comes out of that. If there's any background stuff that come out of it. Evie will be moving in with us. She'll be going to college with us. And I'm sure we'll see some familiar faces at college as well. But with that being said, I hope you guys do enjoy Next episode will be the first day of college. It's going to be moving in. We already toured the campus. That was going to be like one of the things. We already toured the campus. And then also the first day of classes. So moving in first day of classes are like the big thing. 
yeah, I'll see you guys all then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.